My name is Foxy Cleopatra and I'm a whole lot of woman. Shines, welcome back to our channel. It is your stay at home mom, Sophie Chanel, and I am back with another hair tutorial. Yes, you guys, today is a hair tutorial, so it's completely different than what we're used to. Typically, I do a hair review on a wig unit. Today, we're going to be getting into this crochet. Yes, if you are already a part of the Sunshine Tribe, welcome back. And if you are already if you are new to our channel, welcome. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and tap that notification bell. Make sure you don't miss any of the latest videos that we have coming at you guys. All right, guys, so if you are interested in how I got this look, it is a look that is going for about $5. $5, yes. So this crochet look, I love it. It's super natural looking. It's so easy. If you don't know how to cornrow, don't worry about it. I even gave you an option if you don't know how to cornrow. So it's going to be a really great tutorial. Less than $10 style, you guys. You can just purchase this hair online for about $5. I got it at my local beauty supply. I believe it was $6.99 for a pack. I only used three of the bundles that it came with in my pack and I still had like two of the strands left. You guys, I am loving this style. I also show you different variations and how you can style this hair to wear it. And if you guys are interested in the update, I'm also thinking about doing a twist out on this hair. Let me know down in the comments if that's something that you would be interested in. Other than that, I have nothing left to say, nothing left to say. So let's just go ahead and get into this review. Hey sunshine, so we're gonna start with this expression bow ultra twisted up springy afro twist. This is in the 16 inches and I had it in the color number two. I always start cleaning my crochet hair with an apple cider vinegar rinse. Um, I'll link a card um, below or up above to, if you guys wanna see an in-depth um, video on how I clean my crochet hair. All right, so I'm starting here with freshly clean, washed and blow dried hair. Um, and I just went ahead and flat twisted my outer perimeter for my leave out. And now what I'm gonna do is just um, have this option for people that don't know how or don't want to corn roll. We're just gonna do plaits all over in that mid middle section for you to be able to crochet onto that. <laughs> So now we are finished plaiting all of that middle section. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and take some bobby pins and pin down this section so that the hair is a lot flatter and we have a smoother canvas to work with. And this one twist that's sticking out in the front, this is where my part is gonna be. So that's just kind of twisted out of the way for my leave out in the parting area. And so if you're not gonna corn roll, that's the end of this particular session um, with just plaiting. So here you'll see that I actually did corn roll my hair um, because I wanted to have this style a little bit longer. Um, so with all crochet and protective styles, you always want to oil your scalp to make sure that you keep your scalp nice and moisturized. It is a protective style, so you want to make sure that you're taking care of your hair underneath. And here I just have some dew girl and I've added a little bit of argan oil in there and I'm just smoothing that in to my scalp. Now I'm going to go ahead and crochet um, my the ends of my braids and just kind of tuck them in so that they aren't sticking out. So 
So now it is time to crochet, sis. So I'm going to go ahead and take my crochet hook, slide um, the crochet hair through the needle. And I initially started with a whole strand with this particular hair, um, just for that first one. And I realized how full it was. So I went ahead and I separated the next strand. So each time that I installed some of this hair, I separated it once. Um, I believe there are about eight strands in each bundle and that pack has three bundles. So I'm just going to go ahead and start installing that all around. And this is after one bundle. And this is after two bundles. Um, I will say that this hair is really, really soft. I've worked with this hair before. I love the feel of it. It's definitely reminiscent of 4B, 4C texture. Um, those of us 4B, 4C girls know what it is. Even myself, 4Z some days. Um, so yes, I did end up going back and rebraiding slash retwisting that leave out because it was so loosely twisted. Um, and I shouldn't have blow dried my hair straight um, because the textures just really didn't match as well. So, and I noticed that here and I also have a little bit of heat damage in my leave out. So I went ahead with this spray to just kind of go ahead and get some little <laughs> action in there. Y'all, 4B, 4C sisters know what I'm talking about. That shrinkage is real. Let water hit that and it's just like shriveled up. So I went ahead with, um, this Aunt Jackie's half and half mix to just try to get some moisture in there so that my shrinkage could come on through and the texture could match a little bit more effortlessly. It took it a while, so yeah. Um, in the days to come, it did get a little bit better. This was still the same night, so you can still see the texture difference, but um, I'll post some pictures and you can see how it starts to blend in over time. This is definitely one of those styles to me that looks better with time. Here we're just gonna go in and take our shears and just kind of shape it up a little bit. I didn't do too much this night because I was just tired, it was late. But um, you definitely wanna kinda frame your face with this particular hair. The ends that are kind of strangly, go ahead and cut some of those out. so you can see here that i rebraided that section yet again <laughs> to try to get some of the texture back in there so it wouldn't be so straight and just try to make it blend And here I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a 360 view. Laying edges are optional, but I decided to go ahead and do it off camera a little bit just so that this look can come off a little bit more polished. So as I was smoothing this down, I was like, oh, this could be a look. So option two, you can bring this down into two puffs in the back. Um, I thought it was really cute. And depending on how well you camouflage your parts in the back, um, you could really rock this. And here we are back at the infamous hair flip. Baby, let me flex with you, then go caress with you. 
with you. She know you cold, girl. I can feel your temperature. Hit the dance floor. I could one, two step with you. Do the money dance for all the times that I spent with you. Hit the tango. And yes, she did pass the hair flip test. All right, so we're gonna get into a third look as an option for this particular hairstyle. This is a very versatile hairstyle, so I'm really loving it. We're gonna do a half up, half down. And I love that with this hair, it's pretty easy to manipulate. Um, you can kind of mold it how you want it to be. Um, that's why I love our hair. And this is by far one of my favorite looks with this hair, and that is the high Afro pony. I'm giving you 360 views. I'm loving, I feel like I did an okay job with my edges on this one. The high puff is just really a look for me. I love it and you can go in with your favorite hair headband um, unfortunately I was only able to find this one headband you guys um, so it does not match my outfit but it's okay um, but you can go ahead and tie that in the front tie it in the back I'm gonna do it in a bow in the front and then kind of also uh, I think I do a look where it's also um, just hanging in the back as well or tucked in the back just to kind of give you different options to work with. Overall, you guys, I love this look. It's very easy, very beginner friendly, super expensive, $5. Can I say that one more time? It was $5. You can get this look super cheap. You don't know how, have to know how to corn roll and you can still rock this style. Overall, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this look. I would give this style a 10. Um, what, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Until next time, I love you guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.